Roush Creek, the debut of the Silverado ZR2 off-roading, of course, with some help here from Street Speed 717, just coming out of the port of sh**. Let's go, buddy. It's got your game face on. You nervous? You got them nervous poops. Two-wheel drive in the Blazer. The four-wheel drive's not fixed on this thing yet. I'm ruining Alex's shot. Two-wheel drive in the Blazer is still more capable than four-wheel drive in 90% of people's shit. Probably even my truck. I got them stupid poopy 33s on it. No, but go for it. I've no cup holder, so. A little bit more extreme than terrain, off-road. You in your off-road mode? Yes, sir. That's about all it is. Uh, I guess I could lock my lockers at some point today. We'll You're test that out. Off-road mode there, buddy. Yep, yeah, it shows got, the tilt and everything. My off -road mode on. What's that, drive? There it is. It's Turn in. signal. It's in super duper off-road mode now. Mike only has two-wheel drive, so I, that should put us in a bit of safety here. He can't go as hard as he... I don't know bike. where I'm going, but I'm going. That's how it is every time. Sorry for the quick interjection here. The ZR2 does get damaged on this run uh, at Roush Creek. So I'm going to level with you guys. I do these giveaways with Chain Designs and Street Speed 717. It helps me fund my channel. YouTube pays me nothing you guys have heard this before so if you guys want to help support the channel and help me with these endeavors because uh, it's very expensive uh, the stuff that we put these vehicles through it's very very expensive so if you guys do want to support me and have a chance to win one of these awesome vehicles here we have the supra and just dropped an amazing uh camaro zl1 which i got to drive manual it's sick supercharged of course with the lt4 i wish that my uh, zr2 had that engine but you can buy any one of the products above my head a lot of new ones here and the new top dad shirt for father's day get your dad that and you got a pretty good chance at winning him a six super and an awesome camaro because uh it's time 10 entries this is the most we've done i think in like over seven months not a lot of people have entered this giveaway so you have a great chance of winning any one of my products like i mentioned good luck guys well, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was actually amazing though blazer is such a heater oh, good. looks like you got great ground clearance there for your off-road truck nice <laughs> I love it. Half the fun of coming out with your buddies is just roasting them for no reason. Well, don't do that. You don't want to get. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. There he goes. Yeah, it's deep. Did you have four-wheel drive on? Not for that part. Okay. Mike's got his rain energy here. That couldn't have landed any better for him just to season that next sip. Uh, season, my next sip is going to be seasoned. It's a pretty right, cool couple. Wire truck. harness. Well, let's go down to that rock and get me coming over it. Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry. Now he's got to sit down in that seat over there. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Great articulation in the back. Love it. Look at that tucking. Tucking heavy up there. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that was like it was like an action movie. It looked like styrofoam coming at us. No, it's like, my camera got hit too. ZR2 so far, we're like halfway through this little green trail. It's like a blue-green hybrid trail here. It's doing very, very good. Pretty wet. It is a good looking truck. Just needs bigger wheels and tires. Because it looks, it looks, it's got this big like bulky front end, the cool front bumper, and then it's like these tiny little 33s. And that's why Chevy, like they should have made it so it could fit 37s. Ford's got the Raptor on 37s. T-Rex fits 37 stock. This needs 37s. That's gonna go right up, honestly. It's gonna go right up. It's going to go right up that no problem whatsoever. 
Ooh, wow, that back bumper's close. Beautiful. Look at that. Amazing what you can do with four-wheel drive. You ready for this? Slaps it. Are you actually coming up this? I think I can make it, right? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I don't think Just you're going to make I, I don't think you're going to do well on that. You don't think I'm going to do good on that? I think you'd be totally fine if it wasn't for that huge step right there. What if I went straight up this? Straight up? Your back end's going to smack the ground. I mean, we can try. It just goes slow. And that's going to be a hell of a flex. This will be impressive. I know it never looks like much on camera, but this will be impressive. That's a really big step right there. Yeah, he should be slow. Yeah, there you go. I think that's the line. No, wait, no. Oh my God. I'd say back up a little bit and either go, you got to choose left or right. Cause right now you're, left. right now you're straddling that humongous rock. You want left then you got to turn more left. Yeah, keep going. Yes, keep going. Keep going. Now turn left, right. There you go. Stay that line. I think that's good. It's going to be close either way. Your rear bumper, I think, is fine. It looks good on this side. Because you're about to touch, you're about to come up on your front right now. Yep. No, no. Turn, I would say turn passenger still because you're going to be in that tree. There you go. There you go. Stay on that course. Yes. I'm telling you, I know how to spot and pick the lines. That was actually very impressive. Those dip locks, you can see them working. If they didn't, if they weren't active, uh, you would be surprised. A lot Thank of trucks you, would not be able to do that. Because I'm pretty much dry now. I don't think it's even deep. No. Easy mode. Easy mode. Look at that. <laughs> that looks sick. That was sick. Oh, he died. Oof. It's getting close. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, Lord. Back in business, baby. A little water, that's all right. When is it gonna hide your lock, Ladesh? Like, it, it has to. It never does. Car, no, don't hit it at speed. Or maybe do, I don't know. That'd be kind of sweet if you did. I'm not gonna lie about it. <laughs> oh! That front end, that gets low right there. No wonder I stalled out. <laughs> oh. Oh, back back. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god it made it <laughs> oh my god it's got a new paint job and everything dude that was sick how did you make it? Hang on, hang on, dude. <laughs> what are you crying for? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, freaking. Oh, that is great. You can see your gauges. It's so much fun, dude. I cannot believe you made it up that night. That, that wow, this is the most impressive you. spot here. That is, that's, in two wheel drive, that's genuinely impressive. Come here, get your truck in here. Come on now, I'm gonna get all wet. I would say go, yeah, definitely turn more driver. Go ahead. Yeah, now go straight. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you're good. You got a big rock on your right and a big one on your left, but you have more room on your left. Yeah, go. I would say stay straight there. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, yeah, that's deep. Oh, that's a tough climb out right there. 
Blowing bubbles. Yeah, I would, ooh, I don't know. Oh man, both ways kind of suck. That way's not bad, you're clear of that rock there. Wait, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to make sure your back end has room. You got room, but you have to stay perfectly straight. Ready? Yeah, you gotta stay straight. Don't, don't turn driver. No, because if you turn right, you're gonna absolutely slap the f out of your truck on this rock. And then disaster. Yeah, just go straight. They should really have a rock slider on that. Oh God, I don't want to tell him. It actually sucks because he was super clear every other way. There's nothing he could have done about that either. But it's on the under underside. All right. I don't see how you would have. Oh how bad is it? You just got to look at that rock right there. Now, I know it looks like blue paint on the rock, but you're fine. It's just the, un there's nothing you could have done differently. There's literally nothing you could have done. It's just you didn't, you don't have the this, clearance to come up over that. It's I just had those the, rock sliders. It's just the, un, that's why it should come with the rock oh. sliders. I had those rock sliders on my ZR2 and they weren't needed until like I really started off road. This wasn't really that much. And of course, day one here. I'm honestly like surprised it just ripped the, the metal like that. Cause it really wasn't, I mean, you, you'll see it on camera. You were barely scraping. I was about to say something, but it was already hitting. And then I was like, oh, but that's fine. It's on the underside. And if you get a rock slider, it'll cover that. Yep. No one ever, no. No one's ever going to see no, this. No one, no one would see. It's going to be fine. Damn, that sucks. Look. <laughs> I actually said the video, I'm like, it. like, of course. It was within, like, an inch. There it is. There's, there's all my there's paint. <laughs> no. That like, sucks. Like butter. Oh, man. You're right, though. Rock slider will cover. All right, look at this. So we got the little paint flake here. We can finally see, this is the biggest piece I could get off. Is it the same? Well, this has undercoating on it. Dude, that's the same. It's just dirty. Oh, dude, that's close. Maybe mine is dark. I thought mine was lighter. No, I think yours, if anything, yours is darker. So I have a darker, a very slightly darker shade of blue on the ZR2. Silverado, all dirty, super stinky. I think it's just because Alex was in the passenger seat. That's shit in my pants. Oh yeah, that's all right. So no, I mean, there's probably a ton of damage because I think I scraped my drive shaft this smidge. Oh, drive shaft is good. No damage on the drive shaft, none on the like little shock knuckles at the bottom there. A little bit of frame scrape and then that little doozy right there, which sucks because how much do you think it would actually, if I was like an insane person and I was like, I gotta get that fixed. How much do you think that would cost to fix that? That underneath? Yeah. That'd probably be at least a thousand dollars to get like probably the metal straightened back out. Probably a lot because they'd have to like cut it out and weld a whole new piece in. Yeah, it's insane. But we're not gonna do that. Yeah, look, it like bent the metal. Oh my god. I like, I like my idea. Take a sander to it, sand the horse like a grinder, grind the whole thing off, and then just paint underneath. Yeah, the rock sliders are gonna cover that. It's just unfortunate that I didn't have it on this truck. I don't know what it, lunatic would ever have a ZR2 Silverado without the rock sliders. Yeah, really should have put, like, that should be an option. You know, it's not an option, but it's a, uh, what is it? What, uh, dealer add -on yeah, yeah, it's one of those. I, I say that as if my truck has rocks on it. The ZR2 Silverado, the first test. A couple boo-boos, but we're going to get her fixed up here. Maybe not a lift kit, but bigger tires. Just give us more ground clearance. Fab 4 is working on something with them. Pro Charger on the way. I promise it's coming. And then the wide body kit. This thing will be a uh, choice. Mike wants me to bring out the uh, the Jeep Cherokee. I feel like that'd be pretty sick. Stress-free off-roading. Follow me on Instagram, RF Racing 717 So close to 20,000 followers. Plus, I want to have more followers than uh, Ladesh over there. He's catching up to me. I don't like that. No. If you made it this far in the video, say mud in the comments. That was like the stinkiest, wettest day I've ever had out on the trails. That sounded horrible. Plenty more off-road and coming for the Silverado ZR2 headed to Telluride, Colorado. I'll see you guys next time.